Hello, I think we're back. Um, sorry about that. I didn't know whether we were broadcasting or not because everything looked as though it was frozen and it seemed it had done. But I carried on talking for ages anyway. But anyway, it seems, seems like we're back on track at the moment. So better get sewing before something else happens, haven't we? Um, thank you for sticking with me. There wasn't a power cut. Nothing else went off. Just everything just froze on my screen. Anyway, we're back. So that's okay. Uh, let me just check on Facebook because I've got no comments there at the moment. Yes, just a little. Oh, that's slow. That's way behind. Anyway, we're back now. Lovely. So we better get on with some sewing. Um, I did notice. Um, oh, hello. So what's knitting in the Costa del Sol? Lovely. Um, I did notice in the previous comments on um, YouTube that somebody was questioning Stripe. When you go to my website to order anything, it, it mentions Stripe payments. If you pay by credit or debit card, then um, we go through a, a, a system which uh, kind of um, amalgamates all of the payments. It's, it's a safe payment method, basically. So if you pay by debit or credit card, no matter which merchant you use, it kind of unifies everything to make the, the payments more um, smooth and secure on our part. So uh, feel free to use Stripe. It's perfectly safe. That's why we use it. Um, <laughs> everyone's got to press your thumbs up again now because we're back again. Um, uh, thank, thank you for staying with me. It's not a quick thing. Who's in Winterset, Minnesota? Hello, Claire. Um, to reset everything. So I, I restarted my PC, but then I, I use a, an American um, streaming software company to stream to you. So I have to go back and reset everything and reprogram it and put the codes in it. It's quite... Uh, normally it takes me about 10 or 15 minutes to get things going before a live stream so that's why it's, I can't instantly just press a button to go live it's a, a bit more complicated than that because normally that means that we get a smooth stream without losing any kind of um, um, what's the word not concentration oh yeah okay, anyway you're not interested in that hello again everybody shall we do a little bit of sewing shall we do that hot and dry in Michigan Gammy Row is hot and dry in my studio as well so this is what we're going to be making. Just watch Kim's video on YouTube, how to make a class first. Oh, good. Thank you, Jo. I shall tell you, she'll appreciate that. Um, Daryl says, I uh, love the club, best subscription I have done. Thank you. Morning in Montana, Debbie McCrary. Join the Half Yard Club for the second year. Thank you very much. You've got an order going out, haven't you? I recognise your name. Um, Ready to sew, so Diane. Right, so eight three inch squares, toy filling, two buttons, thread, and needle is all you need. So, the first thing we're going to do is find the button that I've lost. There we go. Is sew our eight pieces together. I'm just going to go in a little bit so you can see better. So, excuse me for any wobbling. That's better. And oh, Diane's just really a membership. Thank you. So, we're going to sew these together in fours <laughs> just need to turn the fan away from my fabric a little bit before it blows all over the place oh i didn't realize i've got two foxes there we go one two three four and because i've got new fabric i'm going to use my new fabric so there um can be any fabric you like with this one i've only used two fabrics you can use um, eight brightly colored fabrics um, so, you know, any kind of fabrics that you like. Um, Carrie said, can you explain about the projects that are going down from the website? Okay, so let's start sewing these together and then we'll talk about it. So I'm going to sew together in twos first of all, just down here, just down here, with a quarter of an inch seam allowance and with my sewing machine switched on would help. So, who is that, sorry? Um, Carrie. The the projects are on the website for two years. You will be notified of the projects that are coming down and then you can save them. So if it's a Word document, so maybe the second project of the month where there isn't a video, you just download the project and save it. You can save it to your PC or to your tablet or your Mac or whatever it is you're using. So again, I'm just sewing these together in pairs. So I've got that. And do it with the second one. With the videos, you will be given, they're Vimeo videos. So it's not YouTube, they're not on a channel, and they're not stored on the website, they're Vimeo videos. So you'll be given a link to the video. 
you don't download the video because that's going to take up an awful lot of space on your PC um, because there's so many of them. You know, one a month for two years, well, for five years now, um, it can amount to an awful lot of video. So you'll be given a link. So you can save the link, you can download the link, and then you can access that at any time. That link is always going to be av available for you. So I hope that explains. Um, in my frustration, I've released the autocorrect. <laughs> um, if you have any issues or concerns or problems, we do have a helpline. And you probably get Claire or Caroline answering your questions. And it's info at halfyardsewingclub.com. That email address is on the website. So if you're, if you're concerned about the... Um, the items that are coming down or you want to, well, you can change your subscription f from your own account so if you're paying monthly at the moment but you decide you want to take advantage of the two month saving and pay yearly then you can do that if you want to cancel your subscription you can do that anytime and you can do that from your account but if you do need to get in touch we have quite a team of girls they're all girls working for us now and um, somebody will get back to you within a couple of days of you um, asking right so this is what we've got I'm just going to put my iron on, which I should have done earlier. And we're going to press the seams. So decide in which configuration you want them. So obviously there is three groups of four, one from the front and one from the back. So they're going to be in squares. I'm going to have two large squares like that. Uh, what thread, thread, thread? Oh, do you, do you know, not a funny you should ask that funny that because I'm actually using an orophil thread <laughs> yeah um, I'm using one uh, oh, what color is it I don't know if we sell that one but we do have perfectly perfectly matching orophil thread if you if you needed any you know thank you for asking uh, YouTube on my TV said 12 minutes of this live yeah we, we came back again Jean we came back well, let me put car deals in, car deals in to pay. In to pay for what, Pamela? Is that the Half Yard Club? Um, or is it on my website? I don't know why it wouldn't let you pay on the website. It may be an issue with your card provider. Um, try, try and, if you get in touch with them tomorrow, if you're, if you're not getting very far with them, get in touch with the girls on the info at halfyardsewingclub.com email address and, and somebody will try and help you out from there. Um, but I don't think that's an issue with the website. I think that would be an issue with the card provider. So we're going to iron these with the seams facing in opposite directions. So it doesn't really matter which way. That goes to one side that way. That goes to one side that way. And that way. And that way. It's not imperative to do it this way, it just makes it a little bit neater when we come to sew these together now. So one, two, three, four pieces. And then we're going to sew these right sides together so we've got a square and the reason that we've ironed those seams in opposite directions is because now those seams are going to sit nice and neatly up against each other so we get a perfect point. And again, not too concerned about perfect points because we're going to put a button over this anyway. So you're not going to see the centre, but it's, uh, it's, it's quite nice to know that it's perfect, isn't it? There we go. So, so those two pieces together. And got that. And then we'll do the same with the other two pieces. And then we'll press that. Everybody keeping up who's sewing along, let me know if you want me to stop, go quicker, shut up, go backwards, unpick it, start again. I'm not going to unpick it and start again, but you know. Let me know you're there. And I'm just using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, but again, doesn't have to be exact. Although, it needs to be consistent. And that's the second one. 
and I'm just going to give those a press. Like so. And it doesn't really matter which side you're going to go to on this occasion. Or if you want to press them open, you know, that's fine. Okay. That's it with the iron. And then we're going to sew these two together. But we're going to sew them together at an angle, so they're like that. All right. So we're going to start in one corner. I'll do it that way. So we're going to overlap that seam by the seam allowance, which is quarter of an inch. So let's pop that over there. If you want to pin that, that's fine. And we're going to sew from that quarter of an inch here up to the seam here. Let me get a pen and mark that. So quarter of an inch from the end here. And I'm going to stop at the seam there. And that should match up with my fabric here. Right. And then I'm going to stop here with the needle in the down position. So let's pop this down. Make sure I'm just over that seam and I'm going to back stitch a couple of stitches just to secure that. And then sew up to the next line and stop right on the seam. Just going to move that camera down a little bit. I think I was looking at the dog the other day, wasn't I? So bear with me a second, that's better. Maybe we can go in a little bit. Okay, then we're going to turn this around and sew down to the next line. So I'll, I'll give that, um, I'll mark that in just a second, just bear with me a second. Um, I'll just do that, right. So I'm lining up the edge here. And I can feel where that seam is. Again, that should be a quarter of an inch from the edge. So we'll sew, sew all the way down and stop on that seam. So you're not going right up to the end of the fabric. We're just going down to that seam. And stop again. Lift your needle up. And then turn this around again. So we're lining up the edges to keep those nice and straight. And we sew down this side and stop again at that seam there, which should be a quarter of an inch from the end of your fabric underneath here. Okay. And we'll keep going around. We need to leave a, a turning gap at some point. I've already got um, a video for this one, Leanna. I don't know if the measurements are the same, but if you put Biscorno Cushion into, my, into the search engine on my uh, channel, then you'll find it there. So it's already there. So let's sew down here again and stop a quarter of an inch from the end, right over the seam. This time, let's leave a turning gap. So we'll sew a few stitches. Then back to secure. And then let's leave a gap. Only of about an inch or so, a couple of inches. Go back, back down to that line. And then we'll do the same again. So spin this around. And we'll sew down here up to the stitch line. Underneath it should still be overlapping by a quarter of an inch. It's only a pin cushion, so if this doesn't turn out perfect, I wouldn't worry too much about it. If you're planning on selling and it doesn't turn to be perfect, um, then keep this for yourself and sell another one. 
turn this around again. Lay those two pieces together. You can feel where that seam is. So we're sewing up to the join here. And stop with the needle down. So it's all a little bit twisted as you put it together. Two more to go. So line up the edge here. Is everybody keeping up? Is this okay? And we're going to go up to the seam line, which is there. And then the final piece, so leave the needle down again, turn this around, and we're right back to the beginning. And up to the end there. So what we've ended up with is that shape. So the two pieces are exactly the same sewn together, but they're sewn together at a 90 degree angle, so you end up with this. Then you have to remember where the turning gap was, and that you actually left one, and turn it the right side out. So I have a larger version of this in my Oh gosh, what book is it in? Half Yard Home Book. I'll be doing a larger version of this on Create and Craft tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. And there is a YouTube video for a school new pincushion. I think it's a bit bigger than this one, I can't remember. But at least then you get to see the technique again if that was a little bit confusing. Uh, so I'm just turning it the right side out, pushing out all of the corners. So, and then we'll stuff it. Keeping up. Oh, I wish it, I wish it was my design, Donna. This is um, a technique that's been around for a long time. I just it's one of those that I, I just I just think it's fun. I love this kind of thing. They're quick projects, but they look really complicated. And, you know, I like useful projects as well. I like things that I'm actually going to use. So let's take our toy filler now. Excuse the crackling of the plastic bag I've kept it in. And we're going to stuff it. I'm not going to... Um, where's, my old, where's my old gone? I'm not going to stuff it too tightly because I want to pass a needle through the middle of this. Oh, hello, Janet. <laughs> Just woke up. <laughs> uh, just keep pushing that in, trying to read your comments at the same time. Um, hi to, oh, sorry, talk, talking to each other. I love it when you do that. I'll let, I'll let you get on with that, chatting to each other. So again, reasonably firm, a fidget book. I don't know, June. I shall have a word with um, my... Um, publishers because they foot the bill for all of these things at the end of the day um, that sounds like it could be quite an expensive book but I'll, um, I'll look it in, into it and see what happens Bobbin's fine thanks Leanna uh, what size squares do you need for a furniture cushion um, well if you imagine Laura whatever size you have is going to be divided into four to make the four panels so if you wanted a finished size of a 16 inch cushion um, 16 inch that would be I don't know exactly because it's three-dimensional but if you use four inch squares that's going to be bigger isn't it so an 18 inch finish size maybe go for a 20 inch finish size it'd be around about five inches five and a half inch square something like that I shall try five inch squares I think tomorrow on Crate and Craft and just see how big it gets I can't remember how big the one I was I did in um, Half Yard Home it'd be bigger um, so Mr. Earlier says, Sarah, do the panels going to sell on Cranecroft at seven or nine? The panels are at nine. Yes, Sarah. So the panels go on at nine o'clock tomorrow. Seven o'clock in the morning is going to be my fabric. The panels are at nine o'clock. Uh, the panels come with a plain, um, yellowy, orangey, mustardy kind of colour. And the check fabric we should be getting on the website next week. That goes really well, but that thing is, it's a lot more expensive than the plain one. But um, that's why you're not getting the plain one with the kit. 
couldn't afford it. But yeah, she'll be going on the website next week. Oh, Lydia's just renewed for the second year. Really enjoyed the club in the chat. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, have, have you been saying anything about the quilt as you go as I'm late today? Um, no, not at the moment. I've been showing it, but not, not talking about it. I am going to endeavour to make a video on the, um, the piecing together of the second row. We did the first row. Um, I have promised that I'll do a video for the second row, um, but it's, it's time at the moment because I've got to, I didn't keep the first one, so I've got to make the rows up all over again. And I uh, just haven't had time, but I, sh I shall get round to doing that soon. Uh, oh, good day, Teresa Louise. When you be making the dolly in the background? I'm not going to, I've made her, she's in the book. Oh, you've got the book. Oh, Catriona. Well, there you go, she's in the book. Um, if you're a Half Yard Club member, there is a video on how to make um, almost the same, very similar in the Half Yard Club as well, if you needed a, if you needed a video. Carrie watches from Minnesota, hello. Oh, Rosina fell asleep. Oh, is it a bit dull, Rosina? Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'll start playing some music in the background. Now, I've stuffed that enough. So it's quite firm for my pin cushion, but I can still get to the middle of it to put my, my needle through. So next thing to do now is to sew up, sew up the hole in the side. Looks like I've only got enormous needles down here, so enormous needle it will be. Um, let's take a piece of thread. And my scissors. And we're going to neatly sew that opening closed with a ladder stitch. Because you will see you will see this, it's not going to be hidden. I must get some new hand sewn needles. Do you lose knit pins and needles? I'll just get through so many of them, I don't know why. And the mince is huge, far too big. Uh, hello, is that Clow from Denver? Welcome along. Right, where are we? Here we go. So let's take the needle inside to cover the knot and then we'll squish this so that the folded edges are together and let's go from one side to another. You could use a tiny over edge stitch if you wanted to instead but as long as you use a small stitch with a thread which is the same colour or as close as you can get to your fabric then you're not really going to see this too much. So in one side and out, go to the other side and in and out. Pull the stitches tight every so often just to close that opening. In and out. And we'll just sew all the way across. Well, hi, Brenda in Kentucky. <laughs> I misplace my phone nearly every day, actually. The number of times I say to you, I put my phone down. Can you ring me? I'll just put my phone down somewhere. I think cause it's, it's with me all the time normally. If I've got a pocket, it's always in my pocket. It's very, it's very odd not to have your phone with you, isn't it? Um, OK, so just sew this over. You can watch it back. The videos are going to stay here on Facebook and on YouTube like forever. Um, but again, if you have a look on YouTube um, and put in Biscornu Cushion, put in my name and Biscornu, uh, Biscornu Cushion, then there is a video there already. Great use of all the buttons my grandmother gave. Do you know, I, I brought out um, a button card that uh, I inherited from my mum. And they weren't quite the right colour, but there were lovely, lovely vintage buttons on there. Maybe I'll see if I can find some for tomorrow. So we're all sewing up. So our next thing is to take my thread. I'm going to double it up this time to make it stronger. So I've got some embroidery thread. It might be quite... No, I've only got, I've only got red and pink. 
if you've got an embroidery thread or, or um, a crochet thread, then that'd be good for this bit because it's a nice strong thread. But let's double this up and just hope it works. Um, are we good? Thank you, Teresa. Tina's going to watch back. Okay. Oh, Jennifer's dozing off as well. What are you like on a Saturday afternoon going to sleep? Okay, so I've just made a small stitch in the middle of here. I'm going to cut the end off my knot. And then go through one button. Oh, Tina's got a bucket full of somewhere. Great grandma. Oh, really? So a lot of the, the buttons in those days were handmade, weren't they? Because you can tell by the holes in the middle aren't quite, quite symmetrical. We're going to take our needle into the centre and very carefully push it out to the other side. And then go back through the second button and back again, back in there and push it through. And we'll just do this a couple of times. So I'm going back into the button and I'm holding this tight so the thread hasn't got too much stress on it. So just pull that until it's as tight as you can, obviously, without breaking your thread. And then we'll go back through again and out. Could I mention Newton Abbott? Newton Abbott. Newton Abbott, Amanda. Newton Abbott. I don't know why that's going to please your husband, but if your husband is pleased by hearing the words Newton Abbott, then Newton Abbott it is. Um, okay, so. So I've come back out through the button there. Now this time I'm going to go into the button, but not into the fabric, so I'm bringing the needle out underneath the button. Just make sure that's nice and tight. Prosecco, Laura, really. I've got water. And then wrap that around the button a few times. And underneath there, and thread it through and knot it. And I'm going to do that again. So under there, thread it through and knot it. And that takes the knot to the back of the button. And that, that's us done. So that's it, another little bean cushion finished. So um, like I said, they're, they're quick and they're fun. No, Amanda, I'd read out anybody who, wherever you are, all over the world, not just the exotic ones, they just happen to have a lot of exotic located viewers. <laughs> For goodness sake, I'm near Grantham. They're certainly not exotic. Uh, lemonade with ice and cucumber. Oh, I hate cucumber. Oh, bleh. Oh, no, no, no. Um, a nice project. Hand sew in the garden. June, that's a lovely idea because um, it doesn't actually take too long, does it? You could sit and hand sew that quite easily. It's quite nice as well if you, um, if you wanted a little bit of embroidery, maybe, on each one of those panels, obviously, before you sew it together. Don't make things look different in different fabrics as well. Hmm. Um, I didn't mention that, Laura. Thank you. Um, if you are a member of the Half Yard Club, you do get 10% discount on the Debbie Shaw Sewing website. I want to explain that at, at the second as well, if that's okay. Mm. Sorry, rather hot in here. Because um, sometimes there is a bit of confusion about it. Um, the two websites are completely separate. Different administration, different platforms. They are absolutely completely two different websites altogether. Um, so the Half Yard Club is run by one company and um, Debbie Shaw Sewing is run by another company. Because quite often I'll get people saying that they're trying to use the, the welcome code from the Half Yard Club on the Debbie Shaw Sewing website. It's not going to work, it's a different website. Um, or the member discount code on the Half Yard Club, not going to work. It doesn't work either way. It was a a gift subscription that somebody is trying to use on Half Yard Club that was bought from my website. They're, they're, they're completely separate. It's like, it's like trying to spend a, a gift card from Sainsbury's in Waitrose. They're not going to have it. It's a different shop. Um, however, if you are a Half Yard Club member and you go to the About Me page, there is a discount code there that you can then use on Debbie Shaw Sewing. 
I do have customers that have only joined up the Half Yard Club to take advantage of the discount. And it works particularly well, um, Rita and uh, Diane, doesn't it? Um, if, you, if you're in the States or if you're, um, if you're abroad, because it can practically save you postage. So I've, so I've been told that's what you've said. Um, at the moment, uh, Diane, the 12 weight, we haven't got any plans to stock it. We've only just started stocking the 50 weight and see how it goes. Um, 50 weight's been selling really well. So it would be nice to expand it. But to be honest, there are minimum quantity orders when you order things like this, and it works out very expensive. So maybe after we move and we've got more storage space, um, we would try. I'd like to do the whole range. I'd like everything, but that's a. Uh, they've got se over 700 colours, so it's uh, it's, it's a big investment. Um, I'd do a little backstitch, Alana. So instead of using a machine, just do a backstitch by hand. It, it's not a huge. I mean, I wouldn't make a dress hand sewn, but that's something that you quite easily sit and do. Um, having coffee and watching Deb. Oh, Teresa, that's nice. Um, can the need? I think we're up to date, aren't we? Just wanted to make a fidget book for a child. No. Oh, <laughs> sorry. To, I was thinking, we were talking about books. I was thinking about publishing a fidget book and <laughs> not making one. That would be a good, uh, sorry, who was that again? That would be a good idea. <laughs> Carrie, sorry, I completely misunderstood that, didn't I? Um, I should put some thought into that one. That, that's a good idea. Thank you. Honestly, blame the heat. Uh, there are fabric panels for children's books. If you look for activity books and fidget quilts in general for ideas, you can do on activity. Oh, OK. Um, thank you. <laughs> smash, smash that thumbs up button. Yo, says Kathleen. Thank you. Oh, Joanna's had a snooze as well. What do you like? Um, don't have lobsters with the grandchildren. Nice. Scorchio says soon. Um, do a demo a backstitch. Certainly. Let's demo a backstitch. Let me. I'm going to use an embroidery set because you'll be able to see it better. And that will do. I wouldn't use embroidery thread, but like I said, you can see it better if I'm showing you here. I say, but then the eye of the needle isn't big enough to take the thing. Let's try it on that one. Hold the line while I thread a needle, maybe a while. Nope. That'll do. Right, let's just see if I've got a scrap of fabric to do that on. Hang on a minute, I've got scrap fabric down here. A back stitch, Alana. Come up from the back. Do this smaller than I'm about to do here. Do it as a really tiny stitch, but basically you're going to go into the next hole or into the next place and then come out halfway down. So instead of sewing across, you're sewing backwards. So into the next bit, then come up at the first point here. And carry on like that. That's a bit like a stem stitch for embroidery, isn't it? And on the other side, if you didn't have a big knot, you just get a, a straight a straight line stitch. So I hope that helps. Um, G. Carlson, the pattern for the doll behind me is it's in a book. It's called Sew Maddie, or it is a project in the Half Yard Sewing Club. So you need to be a member, and you can get hold of the pattern there. Uh, thank you, Diane. She says I love the site allows ten percent discount on the special offers. Yeah, if the, anything that's on sale, you still get ten percent on top of that. So, and we've got about twelve pages of sale items at the moment. So do have a look. Hello, Avis uh, from Oliver, BC. Where's BC? Um, with our time difference, I don't always get the live. I've made many of the bags and they sell at local craft marts. Oh, thank you very much and well done. Congratulations to you too. Hmm? Um, not, not, not. Singing not, 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 not. Oh, Laura's having a musical moment. Um, smoked trout. My husband caught and smoked. Oh, gee, nice. 
Team's project out this morning. I'm going to smash the thumbs Oh, nice. Thank, thank you for smashing the thumbs up, everybody. OK, I'm going to get off. I need to um, prep my shows for tomorrow. So if you're around tomorrow morning, I'm on Creative Craft at 9 o'clock and at 11 o'clock. So do pop over and drop us an email if you like. Didn't read any emails out last week. I don't know why. That's not my call. But nice to hear from you if you do want to drop us an email. Um, is the fabric in utter blurry or is it my eyes? It's blurry. I've got an out of focus top on, Sylv. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll be live again on Wednesday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon or next Saturday we're back to... Oh, now next Saturday I'm not here. Um, two reasons. Friday night is the search press party and I'm staying overnight, so I don't think I'll be back in time to do it. And secondly, hopefully picking up the keys for the new premises. So if I... Um, can you see me not? Who wants to see me not? Um, Sarah. Then... If I can get back for four o'clock, I shall pop along at four o'clock, but I'm not booking it in to make an appointment just in case I can't do it. Um, so I shan't be here on the 1st, and I shan't be here on the 8th, because I'm going away for a weekend with my daughter. Well, three days. Yeah, weekend. We're going to have a day of doing nothing, or two days of doing nothing. I'll take my phone with me, you know, just in case. They're not. One takes the end of one's thread and the point of one's needle and we point them to each other. Mm -hmm. So then you, this is if you're right handed, okay? Do it the other way around if you're left handed. Hold both pieces with your right hand and then wrap the thread around the needle three or four times. The more times you wrap it, the bigger the knot's going to be. Hold it tight and then transfer it to your left hand and then push the needle through. Hold onto the knot still and pull it all the way down to the end. And there's your knot right in the end. It makes a nice neat knot. I'm do a smaller one. Um, as opposed to this which doesn't always work and isn't very secure and can just make a big messy knot on the end of it um yeah i think that's the way a lot of us do it but this is a lot easier and neater so again point of needle end of thread hold two uh, hold both with your right hand i'm just going to go around twice this time transfer to the left push the needle through drag the knot down and that's a little knot so the more you wrap that around the needle, the bigger the knot's going to be. So there you go. Dirty stop out. It's just in a, so far away, June. Um, it's a, like a four hour drive for me to get down to search press. So um, rather than having to drive back at stupid o'clock, I'm actually staying over uh, while I'm down there. Yes. The message knot is what they did at school. Yeah, I think I, that, that was why I was taught to do it, June. Um, no, it's not. An, it's an embroidery needle. This one, Rosina, it's not a leather needle. Um, I, oh gosh, yes, it's on. Thank you, Laura. Right, okay. So, um, you have a, a lovely rest of your weekend. I'll see you again, um, if you're not around for Crate and Craft tomorrow, at... Um, oh, everything switched off when it switched off, didn't it? Um, on Wednesday at uh, 4 o'clock if you're around then I should I'd love to have you company. So thank, thanks for joining me today. If you're not a member of the Half Yard Club yet, give it a try. You've got a month for free. Have a look around and see what you think. Lovely to have your company there. I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>